This week's video is not going to be a weekly vlog, but instead a sit down and talk video because today is a really important day. Today is Monday, the 11th of September. Um, it's just turned 10 o'clock and I have read through my dissertation for the last time before I submit it. The official deadline is in two hours. I finished this three weeks ago now, but I always think it's important to have a look back through and make sure it's all solid before you submit it. This is a big moment for me, so I wanted to share it with you. So that is the last time I will ever have to submit an assignment to the uni. That's both freeing and terrifying at the same time. If you've been to this channel before, you'll see that I've made two episodes documenting the process of writing my dissertation. Well, now that I've just submitted my final dissertation, I just wanted to summarise that and give a bit of closure to that series. Where do I start? I suppose I should start with what my actual degree is. My undergraduate degree is a Bachelor of Arts in Human Geography and the Environment. That was done at the University of York. I started that in 2019 and finished it in 2022. I then stayed on at the University of York to complete a Master's degree in Corporate Sustainability and environmental management. I have now technically just finished, although I don't have my results and I haven't graduated yet. That's effectively me done. One of the things that attracted me to this degree was the option to do a placement alongside the dissertation. Rather than doing your traditional research dissertation, they offered the opportunity to do a research project for a company in the real world. For this, I applied to do mine at Factory Lux. I applied to Factory Lux because I really liked their team, I really liked the company, and they embodied everything that I wanted to see in a company. So for me, it was a huge moment getting that opportunity and seeing how they operated as a company. My research project was a product life cycle assessment of one of Factory Lux's products. They're a circular economy based commercial lighting company and it was my job to effectively quantify the impact that their product has and the effectiveness of their circular economy processes. So throughout this I visited the factory multiple times to collect data and to liaise with their team in order to gather the data that I need to write this project. Overall I'm really happy with the project that I've completed and I hope it gets me the mark that I want. The biggest takeaway from this was the experience that I gained through doing this practical real world product lifecycle assessment and actually getting to apply these skills that I've been learning for the past year to a real world situation. I feel like my undergraduate degree was a lot of theory, whereas this master's was very practical, which is something that I really valued about the course. I think learning is one thing and doing is another. So at some point you've got to start talking about it and you've got to start doing it. After completing this degree, I feel effectively prepared with quite a broad but effective skill set to take on a lot of the challenges that companies are facing today. For me, the business element of this master's degree was a big plus because that's something that I really enjoyed. I took business as an A-level and I think in my undergraduate degree, I was really missing that side of things. So learning about business models and studying real world examples was something that I really enjoyed and something that really appealed to me. So as you've already seen, I've done a literature review, developed a methodology, I've executed that methodology, collected results, discussed those results, and then summed it all up in this paper. The word limit was 8,000, I was at about 7,800, I cut that down from, I think I hit maybe 13, maybe even 14,000 at one point. So now that I've finished and submitted this dissertation, I think I'm ready to move on into the real world and take on a role where I can really apply these skills and apply this passion and drive that I have to a real world scenario. Hopefully I can let you read this dissertation after it's finished, but I'll keep you updated on that. For now, thank you for watching this short video and make sure to subscribe to my socials. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. They're all at Cameron Skeen. Thank you for watching and keep an eye on my page for updates about sustainability, about my career and how that's progressing. I'll see you later.